kick things off here uh, for this week's vlog. I'm going to start by saying I'm going to have another art giveaway, another little, uh, I don't know if I should call it a contest. Either way, a giveaway of a nature. Um, I just finished making this, this piece here um, in an art process slash instructional video of how to make an abstract painting. Uh, so I'm going to give this one away. It's a 16 by 20 thin profile canvas. Uh, I'll have more details. Well, I mean, it's, you know, spray paint and acrylic. Uh, very little spray paint, mostly acrylic and a little bit of ink. Uh, but yeah, I'll have a, a picture of it that I'll insert here as well. And uh, yeah, so for this giveaway, what uh, will get you considered to win, or like an entry, I guess, is uh, I would like to kind of uh, expand the page. I've got 50 subscribers right now, and that's not very many, right? Uh, the page, the YouTube channel, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so maybe I'll just focus on that and, and try to expand that a little bit. I mean, here and there, people are picking it up, which is nice, and the... As long as there are people that are enjoying the content, that's really good. But I would like to get more exposure, so that's what I want to do. So if you would like to win this abstract painting, then what I would have you do is either on Instagram or Facebook, or both. Um, if you do both, then I will give you two entries, and uh, yeah, then you've got better odds, right? So uh, if it is on Facebook, what I would want you to do is just like find your favorite video, um, or one of your favorite videos, and share that video on Facebook. Tag the FK Arts page. That way I actually know that whoever you are, uh, that you have, have done that, that you've shared a video. If you are wanting to share it on Instagram, then just take a screenshot of whatever video that would be, one of your favorite videos, take a screenshot, make that the picture you post, and in your post, again, tag FK Arts Instagram page. So doing that will get you uh, an entry to win this painting. Um, Anywhere you are in the world, I will ship this thing. It's pretty light. It's a 16 by 20. It's, it'll be fine. So I'll ship this wherever you are, uh, but most likely you're probably going to be in either Alberta or Saskatchewan because most of the people watching this are in Alberta or Saskatchewan. But again, anywhere else, I'm happy to send this thing out. So um, again, I'll have that picture inserted, but this is the piece. And I will be happy to give it away to someone who would like to own it. Uh, just, yeah, do one of those two things or both. Uh, share it on Facebook and or Instagram uh, with the methods I just mentioned. And there you go. Take a book, take a book. I don't know if I want anything in here. But Merry Christmas. Snap though. <laughs> Alright, let's give that a shot. I like never go to these. I should go more often. Like, no, I was sitting like I was trying to sit with for like a posture. Well, how was your foot like? Like down, like normal. You're sitting on a chair. You're sitting on the floor. Like chair. what? Are you, oh. Like a normal, like the most like normal sit. So you didn't? Did it fall asleep? No. So why was it? It, it was like when I stood up, it like immediately I noticed it started turning purple, and then like when I started walking again, it was like getting my circulation back, and I just like. That's super it's weird. It turned dark. Not sure why you need three, oh, four, there's one behind the trailer. Four red Mini Coopers? Interesting. End of a ride. Always want to find one last way to give her before I get home. 
And this is it. Woo! Hell yeah. Oh. Riding bikes is fun. Just got back from a rip. Uh, this is the 15th day in a row that I have ridden. So I'm halfway to that 30 day uh, Trail Forks goal thing that I'm not gonna get anyway, because I played myself. But uh, I have decided I am just gonna try and do the 30 days just, just for me and uh, ride every day till July 30th, well, including July 30th. But uh, a couple of things I've noticed. One, I mean, this is mostly a work-related thing because I'm not working right now. But I've easily uh, ridden my bike way more kilometers than my driving. <laughs> um, I've driven very little, and I have ridden 200 and what is it now? 211.5 kilometers uh, since July 2nd, because I didn't ride July 1st. But for the month of July, that's how many kilometers I've ridden. 1,457 meters of elevation gain and 14 hours and 41 minutes uh, of active, like, pedaling time on my bike. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, that, that makes sense. I mean, that averages out to, well, actually a little less than an hour a ride. Uh, but yeah, because some rides are... Anyway, most of my rides take about an hour-ish. Whew. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good though. Um, I definitely am getting sore <laughs> and my body's like, you just rode like, like before I mentioned last time that when I had ridden a week in a row, like seven days in a row, um, I had never done that before. And so obviously it's just like the thing, the most I'd ridden in a row was three days before that. And then I went to seven, like I'm like, it's 15 now. Right. So, um, that's pretty tight. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm enjoying it, getting a little sore, having to pick and choose my trails a little more based on how sore I am sometimes <laughs> versus, like, the trail I really want to do. There's one real boring trail close to my house. Uh, when I do that ride like I just did today, it's only, like, 11-ish kilometers there and back, and there's no descent into the city, which makes it way better as, a, like, an off-day trail. So if it wasn't about getting these badges still to try and win something then I probably would just skip that day altogether. I'm like, oh, I'm really too sore. I'm feeling, I'm really feeling it. I don't want to go down into the coolies and come back up. Um, yeah, anyway, it's not a super fun ride. It's really lame actually, but I mean, it's still a workout and it's still on my bike, which is good. And uh, yeah, claiming those badges. So anyway, that's where I'm at with that little update there and how much I've ridden. But I think it's cool that I've definitely been riding way more than I have been in my car. Uh, again, that's mostly because I'm not working right now, but I mean, I, depending on where my, my job was, even if I drove there five or six days a week or whatever, even if I drove my car every day just downtown and back, I would have ridden my bike way more kilometers than that. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I'm thinking about making an instructional video on city riding, by the way. Keep an eye out for that in the next couple weeks because uh, I think it might be useful. Anyway, that's it. Last vlog. Uh, I am in Lethbridge, it's a little windier than normal, I guess if you're seeing this I survived, or somebody did, because they're uploading it, or it has been uploaded, I guess, um, so, yeah, this is the uh, Alberta Emergency Alerts app, and, um, I got a text from the, just Alberta government general thing as well, but, uh, oh, it calmed down a little bit. Um, so we've got ma like major tornado warnings, like critical, uh, which means like, hey, you're in imminent danger right now. Uh, as you can see, Lethbridge is right there in the zone. Um, said that a tornado was spotted near Le Mans moving 70 kilometers an hour, and it's moving towards where I am. Uh, it's hard to do this with uh, one hand, but let's see here. It's my sister. So it said that it's headed towards Vauxhall and Picture Butte, um, and Lethbridge is uh, right there. So uh, it's headed this way, and uh, I haven't gotten any more updates at all um, in the past 20 minutes. But it is crazy, crazy, crazy windy outside, 
huge gusts. And uh, yeah, I don't like regular storms, let alone uh, tornado warnings. So, should have bought some diapers when I was at the store. Didn't know about it until, okay, well I'm going back inside now, bye. I guess now I know I need a, a stronger light than what I got. Or I should also get a uh, light on my helmet. I should have both. I've never used my light on a trail yet. Used it on the highway uh, a couple times, that's why I got it. Holy smokes. But I've yet to use it on a trail. This is the trial run of my light on a trail. And I need, I need a stronger light and a head light. Bow show. Normally can fly through this section, but I just can't see. It's like kind of fun though. Oh, ah, I didn't see that drop. Trail vision is lacking. Well, one thing about night riding, I need to do a better job of keeping track of what gear I'm in, because I have no idea. <laughs> I can't look down, double check, because I can't see my gears. So this is why a head light, helmet light, would be very helpful. survived the tornado uh, and uh, yeah it's the next day it is Friday whatever July something and uh, yeah I get really freaked out about natural disasters um, I wasn't over exaggerating you know the the scenario there like with what it said on the app and stuff the Alberta emergency alerts um, it actually touched down more than once but it touched down in Claire's home which is like an hour away and completely destroyed uh, some some farm um, like garage and machinery and vehicles and stuff like that so that's yeah um, it was some real 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 shit I uh, I don't think there were any fatalities at all I know some animals got like some farm animals got swept up in there and stuff so that's rough but um, just a regular normal windy day today in Lethbridge uh, I'm wearing glasses. I have purposely, I don't think ever, like I've purposely avoided showing my glasses in the vlog because I hate, I don't know. I shouldn't say I hate the way I look in them. I don't know. It's just to me, like right now, I'm just like a scrub. I'm just like going to the studio real quick. Uh, and, and I just like, I don't want to put on contacts yet. It's already windy and dry out there. So anyway, whatever. I've avoided wearing glasses in, in the vlog before. Uh, partially because I always thought about the reflection and the light and stuff, so we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll wear them more, but I'll, there's so many times where, <laughs> behind the scenes, there's so many times where I'm like, especially if I make a video at home, I was wearing glasses and then I just take them off and look in the general direction of the GoPro because I don't need to see. I just like need to see that I'm looking at like, yeah. So anyway, that's that. Um, other thing, real quick, this is wrapping up the vlog, I haven't had a whole lot of stuff going on this week, uh, but I did watch the new season of Black Mirror, it's only three episodes. Looks like we pedaled backwards again, Black Mirror, I don't want to do a full review or anything, uh, I have a review on the movie Bandersnatch, and I have a review just on Black Mirror as a whole, because there's been a lot of changes and an arc to what's happened, starting off as like this British... Uh, show with British writers and creators and whatever else. Things went over to Netflix. It kind of got like 
Americanized and it really went downhill. They kind of went back, uh, did some more UK stuff, and I was like, okay, we're like good again. And then now in this this most recent season, I feel like if I were to rate the episodes one out of three, like the first episode is a one. Super corny, really corny, not good writing. The premise was weird. Like, it was just not good. Second episode, um, I think was about a two. It was like, okay, we're kind of coming back. Like, uh, it, it wasn't bad. And then the third episode was like a 2.5. Still not great for, you know, the track record that Black Mirror had. Uh, but the one with Miley Cyrus was definitely the, uh, out of the three of them, I thought was the best. Uh, I kind of opened up a lot of questions and stuff. It still got corny. The endings of all these episodes are really not good uh, at all. I don't know why they're ending them this way. It's, it's really weird. But anyway, Black Mirror, I, I finally, yeah, finally got around to watching those three and uh, a little disappointed. I'll keep watching it. Like, it's still interesting. It still poses some questions, but not the quality at all that they started at. Drastic changes made. It's not just like, oh, you know, like, eventually things aren't as good as they were before. They just wear off. Like, that's not it. They made drastic changes with, I think, who was contributing to the writing team and the direction of, of how these shows are going to go. And I think it's a blatant attempt to Americanize and make it more palatable for those audiences. But those audiences are generally, I think, more dumb. So... Anyway, uh, that's it. That's the vlog. I should do more intros and outros, I think, officially than I was before. Uh, I did a game review for the first time, and I learned a lot by doing that. I'm like, man, it was way too long. I really do need to focus on doing more planning when it comes to some things. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. I'll see you on another time.